You're watching WCSD Cable Television from Cowie County High School. Happy Light New Year, Likers. It's been a hot minute or two since we've last had a show. Yeah, that last week of snow was crazy. But we're back and we're better and we're ready to bring you a great show. This week we have a weird combo, a peek at the terrible flu season, and all that and more on Laker TV. combo for you, goats and yoga. These are two things you wouldn't think would be related, but leave it to Southern California to bring us goats and yoga. One of the students here at Callaway is actually a goat connoisseur, so maybe she has an idea about this goat yoga. Oh wait, she doesn't know about goat yoga? She's actually just a goat owner, but that makes much more sense. Let's take a look at Virginia Grows and her goat business that does not involve yoga. <laughs> Virginia Gross, a senior at Callaway County High School, but a goat fanatic during the afternoons and weekends. Well, I like goats, and goats are great and super cute. She says she has been raising goats and profiting from them since she was in fourth grade. I don't have a lot of friends, so I replace all the friends in my life that I don't have with baby goats. Goats have been a huge part of her and her family's life. Oh. Taking care of goats isn't an easy business, but she wouldn't give them up for anything. Owning goats has uh, definitely shown me a lot of uh, the important qualities of life, such as, you know, responsibility. It's a tradition that she hopes to continue after college. For Laker TV, I'm Alexis McClurg. Have you or someone you know come down with a cold or the flu this year? School nurse Vicki Williams says that the flu season seems to be more calm this year than it has in the past. So we pose the question, just how bad is it? Reporters Emily McIntosh and Brianna Lockwood are here to shed some light on the subject. Seems like uh, more people are getting it. I think it's a strain of the influenza virus, usually type A, that seems to be the one that's affecting most people this winter. And um, we've had a lot more absences, I do believe, but it's, it's statewide. It's really throughout the entire United States that the flu has seemed to be a little bit worse this year. It is a very common misconception that when you have a runny nose and a sore throat, that means you have the flu. However, that doesn't always seem to be the case. You could have a common cold or another sickness, not the flu. Influenza is a contagious respiratory illness caused by influenza virus that infects the nose, throat, and sometimes the lungs. Is it actually easy to mix up these different illnesses? Ms. Vicki Williams, our school nurse, enlightens us on the symptoms of the flu. Influenza is a very significant virus that most people know when they have it. It's to the point where you have a very high fever, a runny nose, coughing, sore throat. Some people get very sick at their stomach, no appetite. You ache all over. That's a very common symptom of the flu. Very achy joints, your head hurts, and I've even heard people say their hair hurts. So when your hair hurts, on your head, then you know you probably have the flu, so. Clearly, the flu is not a very fun battle to face. To avoid catching the flu, it is important to understand how the flu spreads. Many scientists believe that flu primarily spreads through tiny droplets that contain the virus that are spread to other people through coughing, sneezing, and talking. It is important to know that you can have the flu for a few days before the symptoms show up. You can potentially spread the flu before you even realize you have it. And a lot of people are choosing to wear masks when they go out. Many people I've noticed are now uh, taking advantage of antibacterial and antivirucidal wipes, such as at carts at Walmart. Um, it's very important to wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. I can't stress that enough. When someone coughs, they need to cough into their elbow uh, or into a tissue and throw the tissue away and wash your hands. I just encourage everybody to be healthy and if you feel sick and if you have a fever, stay home. The best way to avoid spreading the flu is to stay clean and to keep to yourself when you are sick. It is seriously not cool to put others at risk to catch the illness. For Laker TV, I'm Emily McIntosh.
Happy New Year's. Welcome back to Weird News. Let's get right into the weird. So this is the so-called Selfachino. Basically, this cafe can take any picture you want and put it in the white foam on top of the coffee. Any picture, or words for matter of fact, and it costs around $4.50. I would try to order this myself, but then I would immediately see myself and be like, and then I would have wasted about $5 and that's not good. So this man in China evaded the police for 12 years by staying mute, but by staying mute for so long, he lost the ability to use his vocal cords altogether. So when he was finally caught, he had to pass notes to the police to communicate with them. That's just some sweet, sweet karma coming in clutch once again. Gotta love her. This passenger got fed up with the delay of his flight, so he calmly walked out of the plane onto the wing and just sat there. Honestly, I don't blame him. Too many people on planes, and especially when they're wanting to get off, so why not just chill on the wing? I'd honestly do the same, but somebody had called the police on him for doing this, so he was forced to get back in the plane. Sad day. For Weird News and Laker TV, I'm Chelsea Nance. Video games is one of the most popular pastimes among children, teenagers, and young adults. But did you know that playing video games can lead to addiction? Geek Runner is here with more on the topic. We all know about addiction and how it can have a negative impact on someone's life. However, we normally see addictions related to physical things like illegal drugs. So what if I told you that addiction to video games is on the rise? Well, some of you might not believe me. According to Science Daily, however, video game addiction is certainly a real thing. Some cases have gone to the extreme, with a few even resulting in death. We talked to some students to see what they thought on the subject. I play all day, every day. A uh, good 10 to 12 hours. Maybe 8 to 9 hours, it just depends on the schedule though. Because on my days off, when I'm hardly doing anything, I usually play video games whenever I can. Uh, I, I do play video games as well, not as much as I, I would like to, I guess, just because I'm more busy now. And as far as uh, people being off task and losing focus of what they really should do, and focusing more on recreation rather than responsibility, I think it could be an, a problem in that sense. Uh, I don't see um, playing video games as a problem, I just see it as like something to do when you're bored. It's pretty fun, you meet some people online and stuff. While playing video games certainly isn't a bad thing, it's important to regulate how often you play. Take breaks, and don't binge for so long that your eyes turn red. I know that Fortnite might be fun, but take it easy. From Laker TV, I'm Guy Gruner. Earlier this week, Elena and I hit the halls to see who pays attention to the insignificant details in our everyday life. The first question asked was, whose face is on the current $20 bill? And the second question asked was, how do you spell misspelled? Andrew Jackson, but I heard they were changing it to a great time. M-I-S-S-P-E-L-L-E-D. Andrew Jackson. M-I-S-P-E-L-L-E-D. M-I-S-P-E-L-L-E-D. Well, it was Andrew Jackson, but they're changing it to Harriet Tubman. $20? I have no idea. <laughs> hey. Ooh, it was uh, Jackson. M I S S P E L L E D. <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. M I S S P E L L E D. I'm gonna say something weird. Uh, Franklin? I think it's Andrew Jackson. Mm. Andrew Jackson? Oh, uh, I think that's, I think that's Ben Franklin. Andrew Jackson? <laughs> Two S's. Today in sports, we talk about a team with a former success, our wrestling team, with past wrestling stars such as Colby Cover and Jack Haynes graduating and former state champion leaving before the season started. Who are the new leaders of the team? Reporters Isaiah Bruce and Caleb Spain are here with us to give us more of the story. The CCHS wrestling team has two new official leaders this year since the seniors Colby Culver and Jack Haynes graduated and David Woods gone. I asked the new leaders, Dylan Bell and Keaton Elliott, a few questions about how they feel about the team. With everyone you two looked up to gone, do you feel like you had to step up and become team leaders? 
I mean, yes, we've been here the longest, so like after the senior class leaving, and a really good senior class, I looked them, up to them my whole career, and it's kind of been a big moment that I've had to step up this year and help like do what they did for me, so yeah. Yeah, the senior class last year was, all of them were leaders, and I knew as soon as that season was over, we were gonna have to step up and take over that role. When did you realize you were being looked up upon by the other wrestlers? At the beginning of the season, when we when I first came back, everybody was just kind of looking for a leader. There really wasn't any. It was just kind of madness. And then me and Keaton just talked a little and made this plan, and we just got everybody focused, and everybody followed us. So that's when we started to notice. Do you feel obligated to help the younger wrestlers mature and succeed? I mean, yeah, I kind of see myself in them. So you gotta help push them as well, not just the older guys, and then help them come better as well. Yeah, you always gotta help those younger guys because that is the future of your program, and you want your program to succeed even when you're gone, so. What do you believe is the best part of the team? Just how close we all are. Wrestling, the wrestling team becomes really together. It's more like a brotherhood by the end of the season. It's just really nice to know everybody's got each other's backs. For Laker TV, this is Isaiah Bruce. Before we end the show, we'd like to take a minute to remember and recognize what happened this past Tuesday morning at Marshall County High School. People in our building have strong relations with the people of Marshall County and also people in our community do as well. I and the Laker TV staff want to offer our condolences to all the broken hearts on behalf of this event. God bless and thank you.